everybody. Um, my name is Misty. I'm going to be your contributor today uh, for LJ Creations. Um, I am an artist, as you can see. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of mixed media painting for you today. Uh, if you'd like to uh, go ahead and paint along with me, you can. Uh, things we're going to use today are acrylic paints, uh, fake flowers, um, some E6000 glue, and uh, let's see, I like to use some Krylon matte finish to finish them off. Um, really simple project, um, can be fine art depending on how <laughs> you uh, execute it, um, but I'd like to welcome everybody. And yes, I will be using Creative Colors brushes. <laughs> yep, definitely. I have them right here. Fantastic brushes. Um, and obviously, you'll need a canvas or uh, you could use wood if you wanted to. You don't have to use canvas. Uh, you don't have to even use paint. You could use some Mod Podge or uh, book pages. To put back here really this is a really versatile project and you could use anything you find around the house you could even use spray paint um, lace buttons get creative you could do this so many ways um, but uh, I'll show you an example first just so you can see what we're kind of doing this is one of my experiments with sunflowers as you can see Got a little drip action going on there. Went a little crazy with this one. Generally, they take about uh, maybe a week I'd like to take to actually finish these off. Uh, you want to let everything dry in between stages. You don't want to rush them. I try not to. Sometimes I use a heat, br uh, heat gun, which I really shouldn't because sometimes you can get some bubbling. Here's another fun example bright green. I love that green. It's colorful, cheery. I figured I'd show you guys some examples while we're waiting for people to join. That way we can say hello to everybody and everybody can get in, get comfortable. Feel free to ask me questions. If you have any questions, I'll try to keep my eye out for anything. But I really like this one. I don't generally like gold or mauve or these general colors, but I really like how this came together. It's got some nice gold in the bottom here. Um, some fun facts about me uh, while we're waiting for everybody to join in. Um, I graduated from SVSU and Delta. I have a bachelor's degree in graphic design, uh, but mostly I'm actually an art instructor I instruct at Duol uh, for adults with barriers, and I also do sip and swirls at Studio 23. So I don't know if any of you have ever taken a part of it, but it's a really fun course. Uh, simple paintings usually takes from two to three hours depending on what you're doing. Um, and I take you in through pretty simple, pretty fun, fun to be with your friends, family, whoever you wanna bring with you to paint. Um, I really like it. I've been there for four years. I like my coworkers. It's really fun. Um, if you guys want to see me get started, um, I will start with my big brush. It's usually what I do. Actually, this one's a medium-sized brush, but I like this one. You can use a big painter's brush if you want to. Those are good. And I'm just gonna choose a color. I think I'm gonna go with this brilliant blue, it's Liquitex, Liquitex. And I imagine most of you know how to apply paint, but if you don't, I'm just gonna drop my cap to my paint. And I'm going to put my brush in my paint and make sure I have enough to cover my canvas. And I'll just start from there. 
Sometimes you can add second colors. I like to add darker colors. Maybe I'll add a little, little bit of this dark blue. Let me know if you all hear me, if you have any questions for me while you're joining in. Just gonna streak some of that dark blue in there. And you can even start off as doing the top, maybe a blue color and then fade into a green color at the bottom. You could do a texture on the back. This is where you could do your book pages. Like over here, I have an example right here. I'll try to get it close for you. I did some gold foil and some drips over top of that, which I think are really cool. And then these are really neat. I'm gonna be selling these at the art market um, August 18th downtown for the bunch of art events that are going down there. Um, there's an art competition. There is a food truck thing going on. Uh, chalk walk is going to be going on down there. A lot of fun, great art events that are gonna be going on down there. So August 18th, if you want something to do and you're an artist, that is the time to go down there. If you are interested in any of my artwork, come visit us, we have a booth down there. Uh, me and my uh, coworker, Mathia, decided to open a booth, so we'll see how that goes. Some of my artwork behind me, um, if you can see it, are I think uh, two of these are oil. Uh, this is Tequamanon Falls, if you can see this one right here behind me. This one is new, my skull. Here, I'll get out of the way so you can see it. I really am proud of this one, I really love this one. Um, he's got, Ooh. didn't hit myself in the face, woo! <laughs> uh, he's got uh, gold leaf on him, uh, gold paint, iridescent gold leaf on the side. I really love this. Really proud of this one. I love this one. Um, I entered him into a competition. Uh, Michigan artist, hopefully he makes it. We'll see. Uh, keep me in your thoughts, guys. Hi, Ashley. I see you watching. How you doing? <laughs> uh, what else back here? Um, I really love vivid colors, as you can tell been trying to tone it down lately. That's really hard to do when you're bright and colorful, as you can tell. <laughs> and I'm trying to gingerly put this on. Usually I'd be very fast about this um, because I'm a fast painter. Um, but this easel is kind of shaky, but it's really good for the area that I'm working in with right now. If you're interested in seeing any of my other artwork out in the, um, out in the community, um, my artwork will be in Painters and Potters exhibit at Studio 23. Um, if you like their page on Facebook, you can find out the days for those events. Painters and Potters is an exhibition for the students and instructors of Studio 23. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. Never tone it down. I know I shouldn't. I can be the neon to your to your uh, earth tones. <laughs> and hopefully this is a good setup for you guys. Uh, backdrop I got on Amazon. I have a hunter green wall that's behind here that's really ugly. And uh, I just did not want to have to look at it through the whole live video. So I was like, what can I do that's really colorful and obnoxious uh, to, to entertain myself? And so for $24.99, I bought myself a cerulean backdrop with sparkles. I think it pretty much screams my soul, uh, to be honest. <sighs> 
Anybody doing anything fun this weekend? Spending time with your dads, going camping, drinking, I don't know, painting? Anybody? I've been trying to make more art recently and it's so hard because like now I'm, I'm making all this art but then I have all these things that I have to put my art into like the art market and then painters and potters and I actually um, uh, I entered into a competition and then I'm realizing I still don't have enough artwork holy crap <laughs> I've gone from making art maybe like serious serious like fine art four times a year to like I don't even know like I've done maybe 12 paintings so far this year and that's really unlike me and it's really hard to do I don't know if any of you guys out there have that problem making art on a regular basis but you really have to if you want to be a working artist you really have to push yourself to start making art, start getting it out in the community, start letting people see your artwork, to be honest. My husband complains, he's like, you have all this art and you don't let anybody see it. It's just living down in my basement like a captive. And I just got paint all over. Like a prisoner down in my basement. I've got to let these babies see the light of day. I'm adding a little bit of white in here. Just to give myself something to go on. Like I said before, you could add some matte medium in here. Matte medium. Um some extra heavy medium, uh, coarse medium, glass beads, make it textured, add sand to it. Make this thing beach themed. Make it a mermaid. Do whatever you want to do with this. These are fun things to do. You don't even have to do flowers. You could do uh, greenery. Uh, you could do gears. You can do all sorts of stuff. Shoot, you could do shoes. I used to uh, paint up the broken soles of my shoes when I was a teenager and uh, put them on my wall as decoration. So, I mean, the sky's the limit here. <laughs> yes, Ashley, get your dang paints out. Then show me what you make afterwards. Everybody, if you are painting, uh, I want to see what you're doing. When you're done, post it on my page. Oh yeah, I see Ashley has joined us. I see Sean, Chandra. Um, there's one more that has not popped up that says that uh, has joined us. When you join, I'll give you a shout out. And if you're watching right now, please say hi just so that we know that you're here. Other fun things can I talk about on um, the 21st of June if you're looking for some affordable art uh, do art is having a summer open house uh, proceeds go to uh, do all which is a nonprofit organization that helps adults with barriers um, and also part of it goes back to the disabled artists so it'll be a fun time you can meet the artist have some light refreshments. Come see me. Hi, Courtney. Say hi. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. And if you miss some, you can go back after the live is done and rewatch it. And if you really liked it, you can watch it over and over again if you want to. I know. I'm a dork. Sorry, guys. That's what you're getting today. So hopefully you can kind of see what's going on here. I'm just blending 
the colors in so we kind of have like a purple rain effect. If you've never painted before and you want to do something like this, um, you can put two colors on your brush at the same time. I'm putting a little bit of white, a little bit of blue on there. I'm going to bring it over my canvas. I'm going to go over it once or twice and then I'm not going to touch it again. It's that way you get those nice streaks of color in there. These blending, this blending uh, technique is really great for water, uh, doing sk simple skies. Um, man, it's really, you can use it for everything. You can use it for, um, geez, you could use it for trees, sweeping hills, mountains. It's a good first step into painting. trying to get this done here for you so that you can not be bored with this because I'm probably boring you with all the purple and you could even which I'm, I'm actually gonna try later on I didn't want to do it today because it might take a little time what number of brush am I using I am using a number eight I would have used my bigger brush, uh, but I need to condition it because I may or may not have cleaned it improperly when I was using oil paints. And they tend to get a little bit hard when you do that, no matter what kind of brush it is. But I will tell you uh, that these brushes uh, take a beating. Um, this thing, I don't know if you can see this, this has been left in water for days. It has been left out uh, with paint in it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not the best at taking care of my art supplies. I'm a terrible, terrible art supply parent. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, I work in two places that actually, this is the Filbert. Yeah, Filbert. It's hard to see. It's rounded. Um, but I work in two places uh, one especially that these babies take a really, really uh, a beating. To be honest, they get tra they travel, um, they get left out, uh, they get thrown around. I found them in hidden crevices with paint in them, um, and I haven't lost any hairs in these babies, um, and they clean up really easily. Easy. Um, Let's see if I can find a clean one here. This guy, I've had this one. This is my oldest one. Let me go get my new package. I'll show you what they look like. Sorry, I left there for a second. But this is my new package. They look fantastic. I'm saving these for a later video. This is my old brush, which I have treated terribly and probably should have taken away from me. I've treated it so wrong. Um, but they stand up and I actually can attest to this cause she works with them too, that <laughs> they, yeah, they take a beating and keep on going. Uh, you know, cheaper brushes, you leave, lose the fibers or the hairs in them and they just shed everywhere and the handles break and all sorts of terrible things and it stinks. But... That's for the background. Takes about 10, 15 minutes to dry, depending on what you do. I'm gonna set this aside. And I've prepared somewhere here, ah, down here, another one with peaches. It's not quite dry. but we're gonna show you the next step. We're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. There's not more than one person here. I don't hear anybody else. It's just me and this canvas. But next step, we're gonna choose what kind of flowers we wanna use. Now, I don't like to buy new ones. Hi, Carol Sue! Carol Sue is a fantastic lady. She always encourages me to do all of the artwork in the world and uh, encourages me to keep pushing and doing different things. She really, really was excited for me to do this live video. She's like, you really need to get on there and do this. So 
I did it. I was scared, didn't want to, holy cow. And uh, I see that there's six people watching now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'm not boring you too much. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna choose which ones I want, and I'm going to pluck them right off here. Now, I don't usually like to buy new flowers. Um, I will scout out garage sales if anybody has any old flowers. Um, pretty much, I try to scope out ones that look pretty good, in good condition, that if I paint on them, they're gonna look good. Um, what I usually do is I lay these babies flat, and I'll choose how I wanna lay them out. And you can just keep plucking and keep placing however you want to do it. Sorry, I was holding that too low. But you could place these any way you'd like to place these. Um, I've done ones in the middle. Um, of course, I've done this one, which is to the side. You can do them all over. Let me show you the one that I did that's in the middle. I'm going to disappear for just a second. Oof. I'm coming back, I swear. Luckily, my room is very tiny, but this is one that I did with them in the middle. I send the corner on, the ang on an angle so that you can hang it this way, this way, however you want to. LJ wants to, uh, or LJ, Tundra is asking me or telling me to tell you where I'm from. I'm from Bay City, Michigan. I've lived here all my life. Um, Went to Central High School, graduated in 2001. And I really love it here. I had thought about moving down to Detroit to get into a different art scene. You know, there's more jobs down there. But, um, man, you know, there's so much stuff around here. You know, you got the beaches and all that kind of stuff. So it's really fun. So much nature, so much city all around you. And it's just, you know, don't really want to leave that. So here, once we have them placed, I've done a small one so that you can see. Next, you can take your paints or your paint brushes and your paints. I like to water them down sometimes just so that they get a little, little watery. Hopefully you can see this. And then I drip them down my canvas. Now sometimes I'll go in, I'll add two colors when it's wet. I will, you know, put some that's very watery. And you can take a hair dryer. Don't take the heat gun. The heat gun's gonna just bubble it all up and dry it up and crack it, unless you're going for that. But a hair dryer will blow it out really cool in really cool patterns. Uh, one other um, recommendation I have to use for this is, uh, where is it? My Golden Paints. They have their um, fluid acrylics and those work fantastic. This one's not open yet. I have not used this one. But fluid acrylics are fantastic. Um, you don't have to add any water to them or any kind of um, oil, like when you're doing um, uh, dirty cup pours. If any of you have ever done those, those are really cool. Um, you have to add like silicone to them to get them to run and to make cool colors together. But I will take my fluid acrylics and sometimes I will just squeeze them over my flowers and let them run down my canvas. Hey Jessica from Colorado. How are you today?
Now I'm just kind of showing you this, the quick version of this. And you can kind of tap it to get it to fall and do what it will. Hopefully I'm not getting that on anything else. Probably am. I make a tremendous amount of messes. Sorry guys. Well, I shouldn't say sorry to you. I have to clean it up. I'm sorry me. <laughs> So then, hopefully, what I do, I'm going to grab this number two, and I'm going to find a color I like, and hopefully you can see, you probably can't, it's tiny, I'll pick it up. I'm going to paint the leaves of my flowers. Now this is gonna look ugly for the first couple of stages. You might choose a color that you don't really like. <laughs> hey, yeah, you owe me a sweater by the way, Carol Sue. <laughs> green paint all over, green oil paint, was it? I don't even know, you just got green paint all up the back of me. <laughs> yeah, I think this is, yep, this is my weasels. I love these ones. Fantastic brushes. No hair fallout, which is really cool. And, um, you, Chandra, you uh, guarantee if they're loose, right, to replace those. Am I correct? Yeah, if you have any problems with your brushes, let her know because she will fix it right away. So does anybody else have any questions for me at all? Anybody from Michigan here? I see there's um, somebody from Colorado. How's the weather there? Right now, I don't know if you can tell, kind of balmy, a little hot here in the basement of my home. Um, surprisingly for a basement. And it's very humid. I was going to put a fan on, but I didn't want you guys to get drowned out. Uh, next color I'm going to choose is Deep Violets Liquitex. I'm going to put a little bit on my brush. Maybe mix a little bit of blue in there. I want it to be a little bit lighter. Things you can do with this, you can make these into... Um, gifts. These are great for desks. Uh, the one that's behind me on the wall over here that I had showed you earlier with the um, book pages. Uh, I put a little hang tag on there so that you can hang it. Be great for a desk area. I have these little guys which I made into magnets. Uh, this was my test one. When you go to do this stuff Make sure you tape up the back of your canvas. I always forget and then I always have to end up, you know, painting the back to make it look better. Um, you always want a nice clean back to your canvas. You don't want to have it all sprayed up with paint. It looks unprofessional as I've been told, at least in art school. When you glue these flowers on, I use E6000. Um, I like to let these cure 72 hours, maybe up to four days even, just to make sure that, you know, when you're painting these on, that they don't fall off. You don't want that to happen. see what else is going on in Bay City if you're if you uh, live in Michigan there is a uh, exhibition going on at studio 23 um, that is 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. It doesn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me take a look. Like this right here. Look at this baby. Yeah. I really, uh, I really slathered that with my artistry, all right. <laughs> Um, some people have said to cover with paper. Um, I don't really like to do that because paper gets damaged so easily. Um, every time I go to hang it up on a nail or something, it rips the back open. Um, but back to what I was saying, um, there's Michigan Artist um, that does only has a couple more days. It's 45 or 50 to register. Um, for a competition, um, anybody from Michigan can enter. Um, there's lots of prizes for that. So if you're a Michigan resident, you should enter. I even like to go in and paint my leaves sometimes. Um, that's real fun. I'll let that dry for a second. Sorry, I'm leaning over a lot. And let's see. Let me show you my other liquid acrylics I have that I really like. I know I keep disappearing. I will be back. Whew. I like to use these babies, these golden high flow acrylics. Oh, Carol, so I know you're a messy painter. I've, I've learned terribly that you're a messy painter. This woman was in my art classes in, in college and uh, she is a Jackson Pollock of catastrophic proportions. Just paint flying everywhere paint she uses paper she's really talented i love i love carol sue so much she's been a a really good supporter in getting me to actually do my art and actually getting my butt in gear to do things but these are pretty awesome i'm gonna clean the head a little bit of this there we go got green all over me Okay, so super liquidy, super nice. You can just draw right on your stuff. Now these are not, woo, you can kind of shift them down. It's hard for me to see. Ah, uh, ah, uh, catch it before it falls on me like that. Ah, uh. <laughs> but you can let it drip down, do some crazy things with it. It's hard for me. <laughs> dried, now, I, I've had people use dried flowers before. I don't exactly recommend them because they do deteriorate over time. I imagine if you soaked them in, oh boy, I would say maybe um, if you, uh, dip them in resin first that it might seal it in but otherwise they're a natural occurring item in the world so they're just gonna disintegrate and they're so frail that they're just gonna fall apart but if you mat them or mat gel might work really well too but then you worry about if you don't seal enough it's gonna get moldy it might just fall apart uh, another one, here's purple. This is uh, dioxazine purple. That's a good one. I'm just going to pour it. Sometimes I use a brush. And I'll let it fall where it may. Tilt it around a little bit. So you can kind of see this close up. Now it's not gonna be all done today. It's gonna to look a little strange. It's got fingerprints on it because I'm not laying it straight. Usually I would do it on my other, um, my other easel, but my easel's so big that I can't, you guys can't even see it. 
What are those flowers, Andrea? Uh, these flowers are uh, old um, artificial flowers. So you can just get those at garage sales. You can buy new ones if you really want to. Michaels has a good sale going on right now. They have 50% off their spring floral. Um, so if you get there before nine tonight when they close, you can catch that sale. They also have a really good deal on 70% off canvases to now, right now too. So I got a whole bunch of canvases. Um, for those of you who uh, missed the beginning of the video, I can actually show you some of the artwork I showed earlier. These are some of the ones I've done. I like to do um, different color palettes. I try not to stick, you know, to one thing. I always try to, to push myself into trying new and different colors. Got this one right here, which I really love this one. I, wish I, I don't know if it'll focus. You can see that pretty gold against that purple. You might not. And like I had said before, you don't have to use dried flowers necessarily. Um, you can use, you know, gears, book pages, anything like that. Thank you, Patty, so much. That's nice to hear. Please, if you do try this, um, thank you. Thank you, Chandra. Um, if you like this and you do do this, please share with us. I really want to see what you guys do. Um, I love seeing other people's work. This is a, one of the first ones I did. But I went a little bit overboard with this one. I'm not too, I'm not too happy with this one. I'm probably being a big baby about this. I tend to be very hard on my work. Um, I, uh, like I said before, I tend not to let it see the light of day because, you know, I just, I don't know. I'm always, uh, thinking I can do better than what I'm doing. But, um, oh, let me show you a few th other things that I do while I'm here. Just so that you guys aren't bored while you're waiting for that to dry. I also do um, image transfer, I'm a photographer, which is fun. I have a stock photography business Mermaid. Another image transfer. <laughs> um, if you guys see anything that you like, let me know. I'm also kind of an illustrator. I did this series of um, T-Rexes that I really love, of him in different seasons. Uh, this is a Christmas one. Those tiny arms, he can't reach the top of the top of the Christmas tree but I love him so much in his Santa hat. Um, he's fun. How am I looking at for time, um, Chandra? It's probably only been five minutes. I'm like, I've been so nervous about this. I was worried like, can I fill this whole time and like entertain people? And <laughs> I'm worried that like, okay, it feels like I've been here for three hours and it's been two minutes of um, now I've got to fill the other 40 or however long we were making this. <laughs> um, well, for the image transfers, you can actually do this at home too. Maybe this could be another video that I do. Thank you, Chandra, that um, I can do on my own page or we can get together again and do a live video on how to do these. Um, Image transfer is really fun to do if you have photos of family. I did one of my grandma for a gift for Christmas for my mom, my uncle, and my Aunt Sherry. Um, shout out to them, by the way, if they're here. Make really great personal gifts. Um, great stocking stuffers. If you do the little magnets. If you want to do um, postcards, you can do cards. You know all sorts of stuff with these things. It's really versatile. So uh, anybody, other artist in here except for Ashley and 
Um, and Carol Sue, what do you do? What do you like to do? Let's switch back to blue. I'm going to grab my gold real quick. Gold, the Golden Paints uh, Iridescent Gold Deep is, well, Ashley, I know you're an artist already. <laughs> I'm not, I already knew, I didn't, wasn't asking you if you're an artist, I already know if you're an artist. Ashley's my coworker. I love her to pieces. She's another one that kicks me into gear, into doing things outside of my comfort zone. But okay, so if you're looking for a good gold uh, paint, the Golden Iridescent Gold Deep. Hopefully you can see that, probably not, because the light's so bright. Well, that's great. You should... Painting and art is so fantastic because anybody can do it. And, you know, it's so relaxing. And everybody is gonna have their own style. It's not gonna be the same as anybody else. And for the most part, you can't do anything wrong. I mean, you can visually if you're doing a landscape. That's like a whole nother thing, so. But I'm just going to let that drip. You can hit it. Be mean to it to get it to go. I'm not going to turn on the dryer like I used used to, but uh, usually do, excuse me, because it's too loud for you guys and you don't want to see me blow dry things. Oh, I love texture and layers. Oh, I love painting that so have layers and texture so bad. Um, I got to stop myself from touching things with textures. Um, I just did, I know I keep running away, but I want to show you guys stuff. And I should have brought it all right next to me, but I don't want to have a billion things, but hard to tell. But these sunflowers, I added texture to. Really love this. Love texture, love using uh, different materials for things outside of the norm. <laughs> Beat that art. <laughs> I'll show who's boss. Mostly sketches. I cannot uh, see more. Oh! <laughs> I was trying to read the Atessa, but I couldn't read it fast enough. <laughs> I do love the sunflowers right now. I don't know why I'm into sunflowers. I think I just love the blue and the yellow together. Add a little bit more gold. This is fun to watch just pour down the canvas. Mm, a little bit of purple. Now, usually when I do this, uh, it's later at night. I usually do this stuff about two in the morning. <laughs> Am I sideways? Ugh. Okay, let me see if I can switch it back. Ugh, come on. No. Let me see. Oh, well. <laughs> it's because I went to read a comment and then it flipped. Is that better? Did that fix it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I am going to paint myself lying down now. No. Okay, let's see if I can get this to fit in this way. Ugh, there we go. <laughs> Darn it. Well, I can't win, you guys. This is my first live video. <laughs> oh, boy. But, um... Sometimes...
sometimes uh, adding these in um, add different things. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ashley. I know I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. <sighs> but anyway, so really, um, <laughs> let me scoot in. Um, it's really simple to do. Um, for those of you who just tuned in, you do the background first. You let that dry completely. I would say overnight would be good. <laughs> good, thank you, Patty. I'm glad that my first video is making your day. Because <laughs> I am in no way a professional at this, so. <laughs> and that, oh, you can see that I pinned it up here. See that ugly green? It's so horrible uh, when you hang your artwork. I don't know. Uh, other people might like it. I don't like that green. It's... I don't know, maybe it's because I feel like next to my hair it's like Christmassy. Um, but okay, back to, I get, sorry guys, I get really, really distracted really easy. So you gotta keep me focused, okay? I'm gonna focus. <laughs> Carol Sue, you have to wait overnight. You could use the heat gun, you could add bubbles to your painting, but you really, really should wait overnight for everything. Um, you want to make sure all of this is set because if you glue something on there, like your, your flowers, um, that they don't just fall off because it's in wet paint. <laughs> it is that 90s green autumn. Yeah, I live in, maybe that's why I have that 90s influenced art lately is because I live in a house that's that fawn wood, as you can see, with the gold. Yeah, I wish I could change it. I rent, guys. I rent. I really want a mermaid house, Ashley. It would be fantastic. But um, yeah, let that dry 24 hours. Put your flowers on. Let that dry 72 hours because that glue, and I say use E6000 and Loctite because that stuff will adhere itself to the paint. You're not gonna be putting uh, like glue, like hot glue. If you use hot glue, um, it's just gonna, you know, you're putting that on a slick surface, this acrylic paint, it's just going to peel off easy and it's going to fall off. And over time, if it gets hot or it gets cold and then there's a heat change, you're going to have flowers popping off everywhere. The Loctite um, and the E6000 are less likely to do that. And I know, <laughs> I know what um, Ashley's going to say. She's like, E6000 has been proven to cause cancer. Yes, I know. Please wear gloves and face masks. Be safe, people. Um, it can irritate your skin. You should know that. Safety warning. But then when you get your, your flowers dry and they're nice and cured into place. Ooh, look at my hands. Cured into place. Um, what I do is again, is I will add my drips, splatters. Sometimes I take a small brush. Maybe a liner brush. They even have, you know, fancy um, splatter brushes you can buy. Cancer, mm, cancer glue. Oh, Ashley, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> you're making this so much easier for me. Um, I love it because she entertains me so much. But um, yeah, they have fancy brushes for splattering. You could literally just take your number uh, two brush and just tap that baby. Put some uh, half water, half uh, paint mixture, and do a little bowl, dip it in there, and just splatter that right on your painting. Don't worry about buying expensive splatter brushes. <laughs> Cancer glue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Truth bombs. Please, uh, E6000, do not sue me. Uh, it's on your package. I, I blame Ashley. Ashley Brandon, uh, she's in the comments if you'd like to sue her, not me. Please don't. <laughs> um, some of the brands of, of paints that I like to use. Um, definitely Golden. It's a little bit more expensive, but you know what? Michaels has lots of sales and coupons. Um, this gold, um, iridescent gold fine deep is worth it. Um, it's a good covering gold. Um, I'm not sponsored by any of these people, I should note that. Um, Liquitech Basics, 
they were uh, buy one get one fifty percent off today at Michael's, so that was a fantastic deal. Um, oh, and what I like to use to seal these, and you don't have to seal them, but I really recommend it. Um, matte finish Krylon. Um, I recommend the matte finish because the uh, Rust-Oleum clear enamel that I bought smells like cat pee. So don't, if you don't like that smell, don't buy this. If you do like that smell, this is the product for you. Uh, <laughs> it does go away in time. Um, and it's, it's very, very glossy. I don't recommend it if you're maybe on your flowers but not on like the actual paint part because it's so glossy. And when you're, um, you've got like studio lighting or like uh, museum lighting in your home. Yeah, <laughs> if you like happy. You know, I think I need to have these on a t-shirt <laughs> with my face on it. Um, uh, definitely you don't want to use the glossy if you are actually exhibiting this in a space the glossy tends to, in my opinion, be too glossy and you've got this light coming in and just reflecting off it. doesn't do your piece justice. <laughs> Carol suit you. Oh, you guys love me. You gotta love me. But I use the, the matte on all my pieces. I think, I'm trying to think if there's one around here, I can tell you that I use the glossy. Uh, no, I think they're all upstairs, but... Ooh, one thing I can tell you to give you a little bit of insight on doing the uh, gold leafing. Uh, make it easy. Wait, are we gonna... I love you, Ashley. I really do. Don't come in. You know where I live. Crap, she knows where I live. Everybody, she knows where I live. <laughs> and she knows where my basement is right now. <laughs> Oh, I love you, Ashley, so much. Don't, <laughs> don't throw my water away on Tuesday. Um, back to the gold leafing. Um, do yourself a favor when you're gold leafing. Um, buy the gold leaf glue, because I did not. And, um, you know, I like to Google things. And I'm like, what the heck do I do? If I don't have this gold leaf glue that I didn't read the instructions because I don't read the instructions because I don't read the instructions and um, they're like, oh, you spray adhesive. I was like, oh, yeah, spray adhesive. I've always hated that before. Let's try that and use a super fine metal that's really lightly feathered and uh, let's see how that goes. Um, it looks great. I love it, but <laughs> I am ordering the gold leaf glue because holy crap, um, I glued gold leaf to everything on myself as well as my table and my furniture and <laughs> everything else, but it was fun. It was an experience. <laughs> Carol Sue, that's our motto. Who reads the instructions? Instructions are for chumps. Way to be uh, ingenuitive. Ingenuitive? I don't know. Words. I was an art major, not an English major. Uh, Ashley, you like writing. What's a good word to use? Smart. Smart things? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> Carol Sue, why don't you tell them what you do? Instead of taking this all off of me, introduce yourself to everybody. <laughs> She's like, no. No. Well, anyways, Carol Sue's a really good painter. She does lots of crafts and things. Really fun lady. I've known her uh, probably since 2008, maybe, 2007. We went to Delta together. Ashley, I know, I've known her since uh, Delta. We actually are basically the same person. Uh, <laughs> that's just the Midas touch. That is true, Tessa. I am just the Midas of painting. Yeah. You asked me a thing and I'm distracted by playtime. Pay attention to me and your painting, Ashley. You cannot do both. 
she should be yes she should be on artist carol sue be on the artist spotlight ashley be on the artist spotlight contact lj creations oh i love poor paintings um is it andrea or andrea how can you answer that you can't say it out loud never mind i'm andrea say yes andrea no sorry <laughs> hi tammy Ooh, rock paintings well hello from newfoundland i hope you're having fun are you there on vacation or do you actually live there i'm a big fan of the newfoundland breed of dogs i've never actually been to newfoundland the the place ah and okay Ah, you're smart. Thank you. That makes it easier. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> yeah, Carol Sue's another one of those who does it all. She's a photographer. She does fantastic uh, snowflake uh, ma macro photography. Oh, yeah, Patty, once this video is done, um, it will be saved. And you guys can watch it later if you missed the beginning. Um, you can start from the beginning when it was sideways. And then <laughs> again when it switched to this way. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to keep it as entertaining as possible. Um, it's my very first time going live. And it's really hard to focus on one thing. But it's great that I had people here joining me. Oh yes, yeah, snowflakes, Carol Sue. Um, it's really great that you all join me and, and it's really great to meet new people who love art and a good, a good artist should have a good community to support them. Um, and you should support your local artist and get out there and make, force them. If you have a loved one who's an artist or if you are an artist yourself, make sure that you force the artists that you love and yourself to go take your art out and let people see it in the light of day. That is my one big uh, piece of advice for you. If you're an artist, get out there and share your art with the world. You love doing this. This is your passion. It makes you uh, want to get up and do this. You're doing this hopefully every day. Get out there, share it with people. I know it's scary to try to justify why you do it. Um, maybe your only reason to do it is it's what you love. It's, um, you know, what helps you uh, de-stress. Art should de-stress you. Um, if you love fine art, that's good. And you should definitely, if that's important to you and you want to compete in the world, make sure you sit down and you think about your pieces and you come up with your explanation of your art. And if you're not a good writer, you know what you do? Contact somebody who is because they can help you out and they can help you uh, clear up what the idea is that you wanna convey. It's very important to have a clear idea of what you wanna do and to be able to explain it. And, um, Definitely practice it and remember it and keep it in your heart so that you can't explain it to people and it hits them in their feelers. <laughs> um, but that's my one piece of advice for you is just to get out there and if you love doing this, be serious about it. <laughs> Um, LJ Creation says we are giving away a discount for all of you that showed some love. So, yeah, and Andrea, I hate the cleanup too. And, uh, yeah, and I force myself ugh, to clean up after myself. Okay, look at this bucket right here. Um, the one night that I was like, you know what, I'm tired. I've had a long day. I'm not going to clean up that bucket of water with the dirty paint brushes in it. I'll leave it overnight. Uh, I came in here the next day. And my easel, my other big easel that I have, uh, kicked the leg out from under itself, fell over, and launched that sucker through the air at me on the ugly green wall over here, which probably improved the ugly green wall. <laughs> 
And I was just like, I told myself I'd clean it up. And this is why I should have. Because <laughs> it was everywhere. Uh, just seeping paint water everywhere. I am incapable of seriousness as well, Ashley. <laughs> Thank you, Doreen, uh, for showing up. I'm glad, uh, Ashley, thank you, Andrea. It was great to meet you. Um, Tammy, uh, Carol Sue, thank you so much. Tessa, it was good to talk to you online. I never get to see you out of the Facebook world. Tessa and I have gone to school together since we were really little. <laughs> As you can see, this gold is making its way down, which is starting to look really cool, too, with that purple. Once it all dries, I'm going to start adding other things to it. But um, If you guys want to see more art from me, uh, you can like my Facebook page, Misty Costs Art and Design. I have a group which is for specifically for people who are buying things for gifts so people can't see what you're buying. Um, that's also Misty Art, Misty Cos Art in Design. Um, if you want to like my Instagram, that's Misty Cos, or you can like my business page, uh, M Stock Photography. Um, you can see kind of what I do there. I love you too, Tessa. I will post it when it's done, Ashley. And I hope everybody else, if you are going to do some art tonight, ooh, had a little <clears throat> voice crack there. If you. Uh, if you are doing some art tonight, please show us. Um, I think uh, Chandra would love you to post it on her art page. Post it on my art page. Um, I'd love to see it. Um, I want to see what you guys do. Uh, I always love seeing new art. I'm a teacher, so I enjoy seeing all forms of stuff. So, Oh, and she put the links down in puberty. Yeah. I'm hitting puberty. It's probably, probably uh, sympathy puberty, if you know what I mean. Oh, you guys, <laughs> the only person who probably gets that is the people that know me, but I have an 11-year-old son, so that's fun. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, cracking my voice down here. High humidity, you would think I wouldn't have a problem with dryness. <laughs> but hopefully this um having this first live video gets me uh a little bit more motivated to create new ones and um hopefully you guys join me for that when I start that adventure you can watch me more with this fantastic uh glittery curtain there Good, Doreen. That's the only way to be is to be covered in paint. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it was only, when we went to Michael's, it was only 79. They're like, it feels like 84. And I'm like, yeah, it does. It does feel like 84. This is not highlighter, guys. This is me being humid. Ugh. I tried to look adorable for you and I'm melting my face off. And I'm in the basement. So what would happen if I was in my office right now? It would be terrible. <laughs> and those of you who are not from Michigan, that's where I am right now. So in about two months, it's going to be like 45, then 89, then 23, then, you know, 78, then negative two. So. <laughs> yeah, and this light, this light is a hot one too. I got this light from Amazon, which is fantastic. It's a little clamp thing. And uh, 22 bucks gives me some nice light. A little bit warm. Makes me a little bit glossy. But it makes everything look so much nicer. It's my natural shine. Yes, I'm just a mermaid all the time. It's my Beyonce look. Um, I'm just... Yeah, look at that. Women pay hundreds of dollars to look this fantastic. Yeah, that's just me right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I I feel you, Doreen. Stop that. <laughs> Sorry, Carol Sue. Carol Sue doesn't like us to have fun. I'll stop, okay. 
Um, I'm trying to be serious. I'm a serious artist here. Oh, you do face paintings? That's fantastic. Is it like face painting like like for events or like do you actually paint faces? Either one's pretty darn cool. I can't do the face painting either way. I've done skulls so far. Not cold. Yeah, I know you're not ready for the cold. I'm not ready for the cold either. It's summer. It's going to stay summer for the next three months, whether it likes it or not. Maybe four. I might force it to do four. Let's say four. Whew. Let me show you. I'm going to show you while we wrap this up here. I said, oh, oh, I know. Another thing. If you want to see more of my artwork, of course, um, Painters and Potters is coming up. Uh, check out Studio 23's website, studio23baycity.org, for the dates for that. Hopefully, cross your fingers for me. I've entered the Michigan Artist Competition. Hopefully, you'll be seeing me in September uh, in that competition uh, for that. Um, the dates for that are on studio23.org as well. Studio23baycity.org as well. And please, 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 if you are in Bay City on August 18th, join me for the artist market. Um, I will not be at the booth, unfortunately. Mathia Schmidt is going to be uh, manning the booth or womaning the booth. And I will be participating in Chalk Walk. Yeah, and these brushes are fantastic. I have been saving these babies for a video for a while. I keep saying, oh, we'll do a review video, but i am been too chicken to do a video because uh, we've seen what happens in this video and I am ridiculous, so. <sighs> yeah, we did, yeah. Mother Nature does owe ya. <laughs> Trying to think of other events that will be uh, going on in Bay City art wise. Um, Ashley, when is the um, Sunshine Daydream? Is that still going on? Let them know in the comments when that is going to be so that people can travel to Omer and see the fun arts that are going on there. They're trying to get a festival going, and you guys really should support the arts around here. It seems like we have such limited festivals around the Tri Cities, and we need to like get it going. Get it artastic up in the Tri Cities. I'm so glad, everybody, again, that you're here joining me tonight. Um, as uh, Chandra is saying in the ah, July 7th, thank you, Tessa. You know Mike too, don't you? Ashley knows like everybody I know. <laughs> yes, the camp out. Ashley's a great artist, too. She does all sorts of fun uh, earth tones and, I don't want to say hippie art, but <laughs> what a, I don't know what to call your style. You have a nice, beautiful, natural, um, really, it really is like hip, like she does these beautiful moons and suns. Um, she painted me a fantastic gnome, which I love. You can learn about that camp out if you uh, actually message Ashley Brandon. She can actually tell you about it. <laughs> She's very messy. I can uh, I can account to Ashley's messiness. It's an explosion of chaos and mess. But she's a fantastic artist and she lights up my life at work. I, when you uh, go to place those flowers, I would say, especially if you're doing the drips first, let this baby dry for at least overnight, test it, and then if there's still dry spots, I would let it dry another day. Usually acrylic paints will dry within 10 to 15 minutes unless you're adding um, some texture into there 
or adding some other elements like open paints which will blend and stuff um, that will extend your drying time so you really want to to play it by ear or eye I guess really um, when deciding when you should do that um, you can use a dry you know a blow dryer or a heat gun but I wouldn't recommend it just because um, it can affect the way your painting dries and if you're doing things like like the book pages like the book pages on this you want these to dry naturally you want them to to dry flat and if you add heat to that that can actually raise it up um, if it's if you're holding that heat too high and too close to your painting so you want that to nicely adhere to the surface and um, give it a nice natural time to dry and then once you get that all dry uh, you can snip off the ends, which um, some of these babies have little nubs on them. Snip those off with scissors. Make sure that you're at least getting a little bit of a flat surface when you are gluing those on. Um, I would not, let me see if I can get close enough. There's a little ridge right here where this holds this together. I would not cut it past that ridge just because anything here is going to be so short that you're going to lose the way this baby sticks together. So then your flower is just going to fall apart. Um, once it's glued into place and you start putting all these paints on top of that, that's going to adhere this flower together permanently. <laughs> And once those flowers are on, uh, let those set um, the curing time for E6000, the cancer glue <laughs> that we were talking about earlier. Um, that should dry 72 hours. And honestly, um, I sometimes, if I'm being impatient, I will wait a day um, and just kind of, you know, see if they're stuck in place. And hopefully by that time, they should be pretty uh, solidified on there. Um, because if you do that within, you know, even a half hour, that paint's just going to seep through there. It's all just going to fall off. It's not going to adhere. Oh, you couldn't see the ridge? Ah, see, it was clear on my side, but is that too far? Can you see? There's a little ridge. Can I? Nah, it's still blurry. Let me see if I can get it to focus. But there's a little ridge in there. How's my drama queen? Uh, everybody, that jerk right there that called me a drama queen is my mother. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine, Mom. Thanks for your support. <laughs> but yeah, you don't want to cut past that little spot because it's just going to fall apart. And so the 72 hours, you let that dry. And then again, you let... The paints that you dry, you know, put on there, let let that dry, put another layer on. Like this guy right here. This took me probably two weeks to finish. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Tondra. Um, but I added, first I added the background, obviously. And then I went through and I added black paint first over them. Um, you can't tell because obviously that's, the background color for those flowers they're originally black so you won't be able to tell I add the the paint first it like a watered down half and half version of the black first just so that it kind of soaks into these fake flowers and then it kind of stiffens them up instead of being these soft uh, little uh, fake things the paint will make them less uh, fabric-y. So I let that dry. Then I add my lighter colors, my mid-tones, and then I add my highlights. Then I added my gold, which you can see in there. Um, drips also I did in layers. Um, when I added the black, I added the black down here and I dripped it around. You can see there's kind of silver back there. There's purples. There's black, and there's like a light gray. And I really like using the fluid acrylics for that, uh, that background. <laughs> T2000, 
two weeks. No, no, you have to be, where's, but where's the teal? The teal I decided not to put in there, Ashley. I, I just couldn't do it. I liked the golden purple, but I got the teal kind of in here. Got the bright colors in this one. So, <laughs> yep, you can see the little example too. Let me, whoop, let me bring that one out here too. And this one has the gold leaf on it. And that's with the book pages. Now when you do book pages, um, my advice for you is to actually choose something that means something to you or what you're conveying through whatever you're doing. Uh, this one is actually a romance novel that I cut up. Uh, oh, what was it called? Years in Nam or something. It was like a da Danielle Steele book that I got at <laughs> a book thing. But, um, yeah, I, and, and you just want to, you know, turn them every which way. Don't, you know, get creative with it. You could even create a pattern with it. You could do some strips. You can do some weaving. You can even paint some of them. Um, I've gotten creative and made a whole wall hanging out of a book before, so. And then this one, I just added a quick little hang there. I want to put some buttons here to cover that. I don't like the way that looks. Um, yeah, it's just doesn't look great when it's not covered up. <laughs> Scoffs. Well, I'll do another one with the teal, okay? Ooh, colored maps would be good. I do have some Michigan maps would be, that would be fantastic for this. Um, what else could you do? Um, you could even make flowers out of the book pages. Um, again, when you're doing the book pages, though, you really want to take your time with this stuff and let that dry naturally because just rushing anything with all this stuff, you can really um, cause yourself problems that you, didn't ha you, you wouldn't have had before if you just had waited, you know, a day. <laughs> um... There was one other suggestion I had. You could also do a uh, jute or, you know, uh, yarn, things like that. Um, well, let's see. Like I, I had said before, gears, um, beads. You could do all sorts of, like, you know, jewelry findings that you have. Um, just create layers and, and build up on it. Um, I've done the tiny little magnets, which are fun. It's sticking to my stand right now. Um, what else can I show you? Yeah, and if you're going to do the gold leaf, like I said, use the glue. <laughs> paper flowers, yeah, paper flowers would be really cool. Um, I always try to reuse everything, so if I find flowers... I would prefer to find flowers than to use new ones um, just because, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. Those plastic flowers are going to be here for everywhere. Yep, and we can do that um, later on. We can make a post to have you share down below what you made during the session or during this live video. And Chandra, you can let me know if I'm starting to go over time because I do like to talk. So, and I wish I would have brought uh, down some of my photography examples, but apparently I'm just really into my painting right now. <laughs> Carol Sue, welcome back. <laughs> It just alerted me that you're back to watching. Oh, I just put my finger in paint. Another thing that you can use, and I think I said this before, um, is like vines and stuff too, which are really fun. Um, you can create a lot of hanging elements. Kind of an example right here is I did some little vines coming down. You could do the more dancing. Okay, uh, you can do some, uh, 
line dancing here in a second if you'd like. I was in jazzercise when I was little. Step will change kick. Also been in a lot of theater, so I'm a little out there. Sorry, guys. You bumped the button. Yeah, these uh, new fan-dangled uh, things are tough to uh, deal with, huh? <laughs> Technology stinks sometimes. I started out this video sideways, and then I just... Pfft. So... <laughs> um, what do... Do, um, what do I like to do? Let me see. There are other things that I like to do. Um, I did ceramics for a long time. Oh, I never finished my story about Ashley. Ashley and I are basically the same person. We went to Delta together. Um, we both did the same job at Delta. She actually preceded me in being lab assistant there. We both did horticulture separately. Um, that's probably why I like the flowers and the flower arranging is because I took the horticulture. I did, uh, used to work at a greenhouse. I really like to arrange things. I like doing wreaths and things like that. <laughs> Cunf lab technology, mm. angry old man face, mm. children in their iPhone eights and stuff. What is it, iPhone X now, sorry. I'm two iPhones away from that, I don't even know. I love the, the angler, that angle brush. I know I didn't use it today, but I, ten, I, let me see if I have it in my water. I really love that brush. Um, I tend to use it for everything. It's versatile um, for getting into tight corners. I don't have it in there. My brushes are actually, the rest of my brushes are in my little, um, what do you call that thing? My stand right now. And my stand is actually is what's holding up this camera right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I have an iPhone 7. That's where I'm at right now. Um, I really love the angled brush. Oh, uh, let me see if I have a, oh, that's not it. Nope. I have a number 10, my number 10 Filbert which I need to get some uh, brush conditioner, if anybody can recommend me a good brush conditioner, because I did oil painting and I accidentally did not wash out a brush. So this baby is like kind of solid, but it is not um, unfixable because these brushes are kind of take a licking and keep on painting. Yeah, the angled, you definitely need to get the angled. It's fantastic. Um, let's see if I can find it without knocking this over. If I do that, it will be a miracle, guys. Oh, I did it! I did it! It's like Jenga, but with, like, brushes. Holy crap. Okay, so this is my brush collection um, because people keep buying me brushes for Christmas, and then I end up not using... Like, I don't like these little rough brushes. They're terrible. They don't give me the smooth effect. And I, okay, and it's not that I don't appreciate you guys for buying me brushes. It's just that uh, I don't need to use these right now. It's not that I don't appreciate them. It's just not the brush I need currently. Where is my angle brush? That is my number two. angled brush has gone into the, the abyss of brushes apparently. But look at how nice, okay, this liner brush has been through a lot. Yeah, they are great for wood grain. I have one thing that I need to do with wood and that's about it. Um, but yeah, look at that. That's been through so much and it's straight and there's no hairs sticking out anywhere. That's impressive. Like, I've got some jankity-looking brushes in here. Um, so, apparently, I am a terrible parent of brushes. There's my flat, which is also in need of some conditioning. Uh, terrible brush parent, because 
somewhere around here that angled brush is floating around in my space and I don't know where it is. <laughs> oh, I know that liner, it's so flexible and you can get real nice and thin with that. And again, I'll show you guys the, um, this set of brushes. This is the basic set. And it comes with one of each. It has a liner and it, oh, pff, okay guys. Yeah, that's how genius I am. I'm looking all over for my used angle brush and I have an angle brush brand new in the package. Duh. This is a number six. That is fantastic. I love it. I tend to use it a lot because I like to get into sharp corners. There's the number 10. And you need to kind of uh, rinse these guys out before use just because they have a glue in them that, that they put in, it, put in them that they're stiff. Here's the number four. That one's pretty cool. Let me find... Oh, let me see. Okay. Was it the number 10? Is this the number 10? Okay. So, let me... New number 10, used number 10. New, used. So these babies are not even that stained. All of this here, that's my fault. Um, they clean out so easily. They're so easy to use. Um, they're sturdy. They look great. And they, you know, if I just took a, a um, scrubby thing to this, this would all be cleaned off. And it just takes a little love and care. And uh, your brushes will be as good as new. Just take care of them. If you just take care of this set of brushes, you're going to have brushes for a long time. If you're a terrible uh, parent to your art supplies, then you're going to be like me and have to buy another set because I'm so terrible. And and actually, I bought that set just because I just wanted to have another set, really. <laughs> and you guys, if you are interested and if you are whoo, in Bay City, and you're not an actual artist if say you're just joining me to see me do this um and you want to do a sip and swirl you can request me for a sip and swirl we can have a fun time do a simple painting um we can come up with an idea for you or we have a list of already uh done examples um we also do who sorry i'm kicking over artwork over here we also have terrarium nights, which are really fun, um, where you get to put together some succulent planters. Um, I actually kept those babies alive for a whole year and a half till I forgot to, f to water them, and they died because it was like 95 degrees, and uh, the sun just killed them in my window. So, But if you're a good parent, again, to plants, they will be good forever. $45 for, for terrarium night, and it's really, actually, really fun. Um, I'm actually working now to get a, a fun little project together uh, for painting wine bottles and turning them into lights, so I'll let you guys know when I find out when that class is going to be available. I have to make the mock-up for it soon, uh, but we'll be posting that sometime soon. Yes, ruckus, Ashley. I want to have a ruckus with you. That will be fantastic. I wish we could do a sip and sale. Um, when we do the, uh, the, we have available where you um, sail with the Princess Winona. You leave port, if that's what you want to call it, sail down the Saginaw River, which is really fun. It's a nice relaxing cruise. Uh, we do a painting, a simple painting. It's three hours. And then we go out to the bay and we come back. And it's really fun, really fun, relaxing time. Um, even the sip and swirls at Studio 23 are great. 
Um, you, it's $45 a person, um, dinner's included. You just bring your wine, I'll teach you. <laughs> a sip and swirl, Tessa, is, um, Studio 23 does them. Um, it's a three hour painting course or two, depending on which one you're doing, um, where we do a simple uh, painting together. Uh, you have an instructor, sometimes a helper as well, um, going through uh, going through and step by step explaining how to paint your pictures. So usually we start with your background, uh, foreground, then we work our way into the small details of the paintings. We've done like fun trees, you know, anything for the seasons. We have things themed for 4th of July coming up, which are fun. Uh, we could even do something for camping. Um, if you want to contact Studio 23, um, you can get more information on that. Hi again, Patty. Nice to see you again. Um, LJ Creations wants to know, how do I know what brush to use in my paintings? Um, really, you got to look at <clears throat> uh, what you're doing um, in your painting. So something like a circle. I would want to use my angled brush because I get more of a, a turn in that brush um, and that nice sharp angle. Let me pull out my new one since I can't find my other one. Woo. But something like this I would use when I when I go through I actually make sure that I trace all this out and not trace I draw all this out first and then I follow my line and then I turn and turn and turn. And you see how it gets that nice little curve around. And for something like the teeth, this is what I use the liner brush for in those small areas. When you're using a liner brush, you want to mix a little bit of water into your paint, just a tiny bit, just so that it um, goes nice and smooth. Uh, around those corners. Um, let me see if I can tell if there's any places I didn't use water. If you don't use water, you don't get that nice, like in here, I did not use water. So you get that kind of dry um, effect to your liner brush. But when you get into those small little crevices, you want to use water mixed in with your paint just so that it's gliding nice and smooth. Um, for obviously for your background, depending on what you want to do, um, you use a bigger brush. If you'd like to do something that's a little bit different, little textured, you can use your fan brush and spin it to get like swirls in the background. Um, sometimes they add little details like snowflakes or like points. You got a lot of points to do little dots. Sometimes I like to use this when I'm uh, doing grass and things like that. I turn it like this vertically and I just motion. The um, <clears throat> liner brush works for that too. Uh, angle brush also works and even that um, this guy right here the uh, number four. <laughs> oh, your mom's here too? Hi, Kim. How you doing? Hi, Shlee's mom. <laughs> All right. So I think I've showed you pretty much everything I have here and I've created a gigantic mess in my workshop as usual. Um, if you'd like a list of things that I've used today, I can list it below in the comments later on when I'm done with the video. Um, if you have any questions, you can message Chandra or myself and um, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, you can add me on Facebook, do whatever you want to do. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, pretty much the same. Twitter's my name. You can find me pretty much anywhere. Tumblr, 
MeWe or whatever it's called. It's a new one. I don't even know. <laughs> I can. Kim, you'll be pleased to know that Ashley's only hurt herself once this week. Seve severely, anyway. <sighs> I love you, Ashley. Very much. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, woman. Okay. So, if anybody has any questions for me, we're going to probably start wrapping up the video. Um, severely. Yes, severely. Stop it. Stop it, Ashley. <laughs> I'm just going to come in. I'm just going to wrap you in bubble wrap from now on, I think. I think that's what we should do. <sighs> Woman, I tell you. Yes, definitely sign up for the newsletter. If you guys didn't get the newsletter this month, if you're only joining because I forced you to join like my mom, um, sign up for the newsletter if you'd like to get uh, the um, notification for next month's Artist of the Month um, and for some fantastic tips and tricks from LJ Creations. Um, <clears throat> she also will email you deals that are going on. Yes, she does need bubbleware. <laughs> You're gonna pop it. I know you're gonna pop it because you're probably gonna hurt yourself wearing it. Um, uh, again, sign up for LJ Creations newsletter. Her brushes are van fantastic. She's a fantastic lady. I love seeing her out and about in the town. Um, so nice, so fantastic, creative lady. <laughs> you can't wait to watch it from the beginning. I I definitely can. I'm frightened to see what this is going to look at like and sound like. But I hope I kept you guys amused. Um, Chandra is adding links in the bottom tomorrow, or tomorrow, links in the comments um, where you can sign up for your newsletter um, and get notifications on sales and things like that. The name of the newsletter is Awakened Newsletter. Um, there's a little thing on there that tells you guys about me, what I do, uh, where I've been, uh, doesn't <laughs> you don't get that full personality like the live video though um, but uh, oh she has a number 10 filbert to give away still so comment in the comments below interact talk to us say hello sorry awakened artist newsletter <laughs> Let me see if I can, oh, where did I put it? I'll put it to the side. Let's see if there's any change. And again, when you're doing these kinds of things, when you first paint these, you're never going to get a good read at how it's going to look like when it's done. These paints are going to dry completely different than they look right now. Some are going to lighten up, some are going to darken up, and it's all about layers when you're doing this mixed media stuff. One thing I do want to um, warn you about when you are buying these canvas boards, usually they do come with like a little label on the back that you can put your name on, whatever, which I don't mind that. I like having the name, the creation title and whatever. But these ones I bought through Arteza and this is, they're good canvases now. I'm not saying they're crappy or anything, but every single one had this dumb sticker on the back. And I wanna sell these, and I don't wanna have to sell them with a sticker on the back. So now, when I go through, I'm gonna have to either paint the backs, or I'm going to actually have to add some kind of sticker or paper to the back to hide that because that is not cute <sighs> I'm a little sad about it but they were a good deal so check the backs of your canvas boards before you go painting on them if you want a nice if you're not framing them <laughs> make sure you check your back that's all I got to say about that oh thank you Doreen so much yes scrapbook paper Mod Podging scrapbook paper. 
Um, ooh, one second, I'm gonna disappear. I'm gonna still talk though, if you can hear me, hopefully. I'm just gonna yell. <laughs> um, if you know anybody who has a business with carpeting or whatever, sometimes they give you away the samples. You could, I just dropped a whole bunch. You could totally give away, or get a, give away, you could totally use the samples as something to Mod Podge to your background. Like, look at this. I love leopard print. Matches my hair. It's fantastic. Um, zebra, kind of like a zebra square print. Actually, that might be what I do next. You could use old jeans. You can do anything. You could take jean pockets and glue them to your canvas, put some flowers on there, and now you got a pen holder for your office. You could get real creative with this. You could even, this guy over here, the skull that I keep bringing up and showing you, um, I was going to actually put flowers on his head. I decide not to, I really like the way he is, so I'm gonna leave him. Put your logoed sticker on. My logoed sticker, did I miss something? What logoed sticker? I don't have my logo sticker. Explain, Carol Sue. I do not know what you are talking about. I missed it. I was too busy talking. Totally missed what you had to say. Um, <clears throat> other things you can use, tissue paper. Make some, yes make some. Uh, tissue paper, uh, bubble wrap. Um, I could use metal, like the rabbit fencing, which was awesome. Chandra's adding the newsletter link one more time so you guys have a chance to like that. Make sure you like and subscribe to that newsletter uh, and to the page because she has some fantastic brushes. She comes out with a fantastic newsletters. She supports artists. Um, it, and it's really important if you're an artist to get your stuff out there. And this is a fantastic, I don't want to say easy chance to do that, but it's a good practice for you to get your butt out there and to get people to see you. The video is kind of scary to do. I'll admit it. I've screwed up. I've made tons of mistakes throughout the night and I'm sorry for that. For those of you who've had to deal with this but <laughs> hopefully I've been fun and you've been amused um, well yeah which yeah that would be cool and terrible actually you could even use watercolors for that and it looks like um, Chandra said let us know as well what products you want us to roll out with next for you uh, hmm. so many things. I'm addicted to everything there is art, so that's a really hard one. Oh, thank you, Patty. I'm really starting to like you, Patty. You're really awesome. Uh, you're making me feel good about this. I like you. <laughs> Ashley, highly amused. I'm glad you're highly amused. I'm hopefully, hopefully being amusing. I know I keep disappearing out of sight, but there's so many things I have around my, my, um, studio that I want to show you. And I actually... Now you guys should be really excited because I have not knocked over the camera or any art. I've only put my hand in paint twice and I didn't scream about it, which usually I'd be like, um, I did not knock over my paint water, did not drink out of my paint water, did not knock over the easel. So I'd say all in all, this was kind of a success. I'm gonna be positive about this. I think, I think this is okay. I think it was okay. <laughs> and again, um, Chandra, I really appreciate um, you allowing me to have this time to blather on and uh, show people what I do and what I love to do. Um, I love to educate people and inspire people. And I love to be inspired by other people and meet new artists all around the places. All around the places? Whatever. Every place. All around the world, I see the same. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> yet, 
Yeah, I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna knock everything over. Thank you so much, so much, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up this video finally. I know I've been talking so much. She's posting what you need to follow, what you need to like in the comments section. Please follow my art page, Missy and Koss Art and Design. Koss, it's C-O-S-S, -S, uh, A-N-N, Ann, no E. Uh, Missy and Koss Art and Design, both for my Facebook group and page. Uh, Misty Koss for Instagram. Uh, and stock photography for Etsy, which I have some of my paintings available in uh, bags, socks, uh, swimsuits, uh, phone covers, all sorts of fun stuff. <laughs> but thank you so much, guys, for joining me tonight. I hope you have a lovely night. Uh, hopefully we can make a post for you later um, to show us what kind of artwork you've been working on while you were working here, what you work on tonight. Um, show me what you do. I can't wait to see it. I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for watching.